If you've spent any time watching videos about exoplanets on YouTube, chances are you've seen many of the same planets appear again and again. Planets like Kepler 22b, 55 Cancri e, which is officially named Janssen, or J1407b, the gas giant that supposedly has the biggest rings in the universe. But there's still way too much misinformation about all these places, and J1407b specifically. Before I start this video, there's one thing you should know. J1407b, the Super Saturn, does not exist. The object that transited in from the star V1400 Centauri that we thought was a planet with an extremely large ring system has turned out to most likely not be a planet at all, and instead a rogue brown dwarf. This object, which we still call J1407b, does not have rings and isn't a planet, and is instead a rogue brown dwarf, an object between a planet and a star in size, with a protoplanetary disk where new planets are actively forming. We know this for multiple reasons. First off, J1407b just disappeared. We first discovered it by the transit method, meaning as the object passed in front of its star, it blocks some of the light from reaching us, causing the star to dim. We detected this dimming from J1407b and the disk of material around it, which is what led people to speculate that it had a huge ring system. And this was the most likely explanation for what we saw. But J1407b, based on its transit, had a year length of somewhere around 14 Earth years. It was first observed in 2007, so, 14 years later, telescopes were once again pointed at the star to hopefully detect J1407b again. And it wasn't there. There have been multiple searches for J1407b over the past few years. Telescopes have been making several observations of V1400 Centauri. And over and over again, J1407b has missed its transit. This means one of two things. Either the transit wasn't real, which is highly unlikely, or J1407b doesn't orbit the star it passed in front of. Much longer orbits have been ruled out, because at some point, the orbit becomes too elliptical and the rings would become unstable. Not only that, but observations of the star go back to the 1890s, and telescopes back then would have been able to see J1407b's transit. And there's no evidence of any transits from 1890 to 1990. This rules out every possible orbital configuration for J1407b. This means that whatever J1407b was, it wasn't a planet and didn't orbit that star. To make a long story short, the consensus among the astronomy community at this point is that J1407b is either a rogue brown dwarf with a protoplanetary disk and has a mass around 20 times bigger than Jupiter, or it could be much smaller at only 6 Jupiter masses, which would make it a rogue planet, but again, it doesn't have rings, instead having a protoplanetary disk. Whatever option turns out to be true, J1407b is not a super Saturn and doesn't have rings. There's a massive amount of misinformation about J1407b. So many people still think it's a planet with rings, despite the fact that the studies disproving J1407b as a planet, which I'll link in the description, were made years ago. So, I made a video attempting to stop the misinformation about this object. At the time, I had a few dozen subscribers. I assumed maybe a few hundred people would watch it, and I could do what little I could. And within a few months, it got 250,000 views, which, at the time, was more than every other video I'd ever made combined. This was more than I could have possibly imagined, and I hoped that this would make a significant dent in the J1407b myth. But it didn't. From what I've seen online, there hasn't been a significant change in the J1407b myth. People still think it's real. I never expected to make any major change in public perception of the planet, but I hope to at least make a slight dent, but I haven't been able to see any noticeable difference. This problem is a lot bigger than I thought. Which led me to do some more investigating. Professional astronomers have known J1407b isn't a planet with rings for years now. There have been several studies proving this planet doesn't exist, so why do so many people still believe in this myth? It's because of the two major problems in science communication today. People exaggerate information or outright spread misinformation, and information quickly becomes outdated. I'm going to start this by emphasizing that the J1407b misinformation is not the fault of the scientists and astronomers that discovered this planet. This is a dangerous trend I've seen online. When information in science turns out to be wrong, people immediately jump to blame the scientists, not the people spreading the misinformation. The astronomers that had discovered J1407b, or said that J1407b could be a planet with big rings, are not at fault for how big the myth has gotten today. No actual astronomer ever said that J1407b was definitely a ringed planet. This myth is because of the people who spread this misinformation even after it was confirmed to be false. So, anyone who's uploaded a video about J1407b in the last six years. Astronomers are not public figures. It's the media's job to report on their discoveries. Unfortunately, the media does a terrible job. And that's why the myth is so big today. There are literally tens of thousands of videos and articles about J1407b. There are so many of them that the studies debunking J1407b are buried under layers of misinformation. The front page of Google says J1407b is a planet. The NASA website says J1407b is a planet. High-end creators like Melody Sheep have made videos saying J1407b is a planet over the last few years. This is why this myth is so hard to stop. 
So why is this happening? Why do Google and NASA still say J1407b is a planet when it isn't? The NASA website is simple enough to explain. That website is simply never updated. The exoplanet section of the NASA website is an absolute mess. They don't include planets like Proxima d, despite having its existence confirmed two years ago, and include planets that were refuted. The Eyes on Exoplanets section of the site is even worse. For those who don't know, Eyes on Exoplanets is a part of the NASA website that shows every exoplanet we've ever discovered with how far away they are from the solar system, and you can compare their sizes with other planets. But it doesn't take long to see this whole section is absolutely full of errors. There are planets that don't actually exist, planets that should be there but aren't, and for some reason when you go to PSR B1620-26, the solar system is there. There are over 150 exoplanets with official names, like Janssen, which you might know as 55 Cancri E, but when you go to Janssen on this site, the proper name is nowhere to be found. The planet HD 10546b was labeled as having a mass of 752 Jupiters for years, which is completely absurd because that mass would make it a K-type star. They've since fixed that one, but the misinformation still remains. And, as I was writing this video, I found another error. It turns out the entire NASA exoplanet catalog is broken, and no matter what planet you click on, it will always show the planet Augle 2016 BLG2227LB and put it directly in the solar system. I could go on, but this section is already getting pretty long, so I'll skip the rest of the errors. The NASA exoplanet site is completely unreliable, through no fault of the scientists. For some reason, nobody's updated it or fixed any of these blatant errors. Unfortunately, this is causing huge problems. Because the NASA website is supposed to be a reliable source, Google often uses it. So, when you research J1407b, instead of getting true information, you're redirected to the outdated and error-filled NASA website. And other websites rely on NASA to have accurate information, because they should. So they make articles about J1407b, which gives Google's more supposedly reliable sources about J1407b, which only buries the correct information further. This is why the front page of Google still says J1407b is a planet with rings. And so, anyone doing research on J1407b is given seemingly reliable sources about the planet, when, in reality, they're multiple years out of date and no longer accurate. Let me emphasize that this is also not the fault of most creators. I mentioned Melody Sheep already, which is a great channel. It's not Melody Sheep's fault that they included J1407b in their Sites of Space video, which is sitting at a few million views. How are you supposed to know that J1407b doesn't exist when there are hundreds of articles and videos and websites, including the NASA site and the literal front page of Google, saying it does? This is a no-win situation. I only found out J1407b wasn't real because someone a lot more knowledgeable in astronomy told me a few years ago. If the only way people can find out that J1407b isn't a planet is by having someone else tell them, then there's no way to get rid of this myth. So, there are a lot of creators that are otherwise very good at making videos about J1407b. And that's not their fault, it's the bad information at fault. But there are some creators that are at fault. They are, of course, the AI-generated scam channels plaguing YouTube today. I'm sure you've seen them. The channels that claim we found city lights on Proxima B or say we found exoplanets more habitable than Earth. These channels talk about J1407b. They're AI-generated slop that are only for monetary gain at best, and they're outright content thieves at worst. And these channels are everywhere, they have millions of subscribers, and there's nothing we can do to stop them except get as many people to know to stop watching them as possible. In case you were just listening, I'm showing images of these channels on screen so you know what to avoid. These channels do nothing but mass-produce science misinformation, especially astronomy. Stuff about J1407b and exoplanets in general. And it's not just exoplanets, it's all science. If you see a channel like this, the best thing you can do is not engage. Don't click on the video even to dislike and post a mean comment. You're still giving them a view, and dislikes and comments still count as engagement, which will boost them in the algorithm. The only thing you should do is report the channel and block it. The best and only way to stop them is to not watch them. If any of the channels you watch look like the images I just showed on screen, unsubscribe, block, and report the channel immediately. J1407b is just one small example of a massive misinformation problem online today. It's not only the incorrect articles and websites on Google, and otherwise well-meaning creators making errors, but malicious channels promoting misinformation for monetary gain. Those are the two major problems in science communication that have not only kept the J1407b myth alive when it should have died years ago, but are promoting an inaccurate view of astronomy and science as a whole that is damaging to the public perception. When people realize these videos are fake, many don't blame the person who made them. They blame the scientists. This leads to the growing distrust in science we see all around us. I can never hope to solve this problem alone, and it's good that there are so many other people doing things about it, but we need more. YouTube needs to start taking action against these channels. But, of course, they never will, because these channels make money, and that's all that matters. 
So the only thing we can do is stop watching it. Tell the creators that lying to millions of people is not a viable strategy to make money. And hopefully we can correct at least some of the damage these people have caused. And what's worse is that these channels use AI. Language models like ChatGPT are not reliable sources. It's insane how many people I've seen treating the words randomly generated by ChatGPT as gospel. AI will eventually, hopefully, be reliable. But right now, it's not. When an AI doesn't know the answer to a question, it hallucinates false information. It literally makes stuff up that sounds right, which creates brand new misinformation out of nowhere that needs to be corrected by real people. AI as it currently is is not advanced enough to be relied on for anything above the most basic level knowledge, and these channels are using it, which only makes the huge misinformation problem worse. Because now everyone has access to it, and they can easily lie to your face without even knowing it, because they believe what an AI said. For real, reliable creators on YouTube that aren't AI-generated liars, I highly recommend channels like Dr. Becky, Parallax Nick, Isaac Arthur, Fraser Kane, Cool Worlds, and many others. Those ones are my personal favorites, but there are a lot of other great ones, like Anthrofuturism, Drexler Astral, Kyle Hill, and C. There are plenty of great astronomy creators on YouTube, but there's still a ton of misinformation, and we need to do more to correct it. J1407B doesn't exist, but the problems this myth shows us are very real, and we need to do more about it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about space and space colonization.